At age 23, Alexander, king of Macedonia, has driven the Persians out of the entire Mediterranean. Now he can return home to a life of comfort and ease. Instead, he chooses a soldier's life and pushes ever deeper into the Persian Empire. After the battle at Issus, Alexander traveled 500 miles along the coast, through Palestine, across the desert, and is now poised to take Egypt. Sailing down the Nile, he gazes upon a civilization that is already 2,000 years old. Linked by years of Persian oppression, Greece and Egypt are at last united under a single sovereign. In 331 BC, at Memphis, Egypt's capital, Alexander is proclaimed Pharaoh. Because his new subjects believe pharaohs are descended from gods, Alexander is regarded as divine. But Alexander has other, more practical ambitions. The Nile is the gateway to Africa. Here, where it flows into the Mediterranean, he will build a great city in the Greek style. He calls it Alexandria. Over the next few years, he will christen a dozen more like it throughout the Middle East. Each of them is a miniature Greece transplanted to alien soil. But this Alexandria will be his best and most enduring. 